Almost like being in England. Look at that, fog. <laughs> Good gracious. It's Monday morning around 11 or so. I'm headed to pick up some knives and to drop off those uh, his trimmers and stuff. I left Jack on today. I don't know what I'm going to get her. The lady says she needs some, my services. I'll know more in a little while. Stand by. She lives at the Ocean Front, 23rd Street. Not far from where I parked during the summer. Okay. Get back to you. I'm using my phone today, so I don't know how that's going to work out. The sound. Good try. Well, we got them. You're gonna believe what's in that bag. <laughs> I'm talking a flock of knives. Not, not as many as I've gotten before from some people, but a nice set of big kitchen knives. There's two little pairs and the rest of them are giants. Eight, nine, ten inch knives. Victor Knox. Most of them are Victor Knox. Some of them have been uh, wheel sharpened on an old granite type sharpening wheel, you know, that you spin around by hand or by foot in Africa. They're in bad shape. I mean, the knives are okay. They just got horrible, horrible scratches. Grinds and everything on the sides of all of them. Not all of them, but most of them. I'll show you when I get home, when I can change cameras. I'm going to drop those head strippers and loafers off now. When I get back to you. Okay, the bag is out. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Holy Toledo. I've already seen them. It's a whole flock of Victor Knox. Big ones. Two little pair knives. I presume they are... I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see what they are. Look like Dick knives. At least that one is, anyway. F. Dick. That's, uh... And I've seen this one before, but I can't think of the name of it. I can't read it from here. Nice little knife. Uh. And here yeah, are the two from Africa. Now yeah, we're sharpened in Africa. She travels all around. I don't know how well this is coming out with the camera, but I presume pretty well. So I can remember what the lens is. They were sharpened on one of them big rolly stones that people use, you know, manually turn it by foot or by hand. I'll never get all of them out, but we can get them polished up a little teeny bit. Unless I can figure out how to get the sound in effect the first part of this video won't have any sound because I use my cell phone, my iPhone, my smartphone as you call it. These are the knives I picked up this morning from Sandra. It's a whole family of Victor Knox. There's a Mundial right there. The biggest one's a Mundial. Then there's a little Mundial. And this one is a F. Dick. Two pair of knives. The rest of them, as you can see, are big chef's knives. She's a traveling, I guess you call her a traveling chef. She moves all around. She's from San Antonio, here and there. She's here now. I don't know what, what the story is. She was on a ship for a while. She was in Africa for a while. I think I told you that in the, other, in the first part of the video, but like I said, you may not be able to hear it. These two knives were sharpened in Africa. And you can see 
They were sharpened on one of them big rotary wheels that you turn by hand. I presume they don't have to be turned by hand, but you can see it was a rotary wheel that scratched them all up like that. You know what I mean, a big sharpening wheel. I forget what the hell you call them, but you know what I'm talking about. They got major. This was not too bad. Looks like it might have been reworked a little bit. But this one doesn't look like it's just come off the come off the wheel. We'll get them in shape. Victor Knox. I do a lot of these, believe it or not. Yep. Okay. I gotta get the buffer out first and see what I can do with them. You can see it's uh, been raining all night, all day. It's not raining right now though, but there's water everywhere. All up and down the street. Rain this morning when I picked up the knives. I dropped off the hedge trimmers and the lopers. Okay. See you in a little while. As I just started buffing these out, I noticed that she has her name inscribed on all the blades. You can see it right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right there. Her name is inscribed on each and every blade. Except for this one little one. It's on this one. Right there. It's on every knife. That's pretty cool. They're coming along good right now. Yep, they're all finished. They're in here soaking, waiting for me to wash them off. Get the compound and the dust and stuff off of them. It's a pretty nice set of knives. They turn, they turn out pretty good, the ones that were scratched up bad. They're not perfect by no means, but they're a lot better than they were. Now if I get off of some ammo, if I had some ammo, I'd have had some uh, cans and diamond bars. Uh, I don't have any yet, but I could have sure used them again on these babies. Okay, I'll let them suck a little while longer. Stand by. While we were sharpening knives, a mailman came. You remember that fellow Mike that sent us those uh, nice decals? Relic digging, relic whack, relic something. I can't remember what he said. I got him on my truck. We got something else from him. You have to open it in a few minutes. Stand by. Well, there they are. You can see the scratches, but they're not, you know, they're not like they were. They're all polished up, so to speak. Sandra Leonard. That's the first set of knives I ever sharpened that were engraved or had a person's name in them. two like that that was really chewed up, you know, the two biggest ones. Whoever put the name in, they did it different areas, never the same. Sometimes on one side, sometimes on the other. No rhyme, no reason where he put them. This is the one that doesn't have the F dick knife. The Mundal has it right there. Pretty cool. Okay, let them dry a little bit. 
end of the day. Seven nice knives. Five big knives and two little knives. I like big knives. And you know why. See you later. Let's see what's in this package. I got the end of it cut off. Well, I see a hat brim coming out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Zippo. Mmm. Nice hat. There's a sticker I was looking for. Let's go digging. Relic hunting. U.S. Check out our Facebook. You got it, guys. Check it out. Mmm. 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 Research labs. It says something right there, but I can't make it out. <laughs> Holy jumping Toledo. That's a nice hat right there. Nice adjustable strap on the back. Mmm. Okay, now we guys get to work. Do our video. Fool around with this damn iPhone. God, I hate it. Stand by. You ready? He says it's time to go outside, Daddy. I don't know. How much we'll get in. He, he, he don't like it when it's wet out. He's a funny dog. Okay, okay. Hold your pants on. When the ground's wet, it's been raining. Come on. <laughs> I don't know how long he'll stay out here, but he'll stay for a couple of minutes. I'll see y'all in a little while. Damn, just as soon as I stepped outside, it's starting to sprinkle. And the fog's rolling in. Look at that. Good gracious. Pretty soon I won't be able to see you, Jack. <laughs>